6-7-1100. Now back to Hugo Nodals and Kevin Gregory. As you know, in round two, our dollar amounts are doubled, and this is important. The player with the most money at the end of the round will advance to our Union Federal Savings Bank bonus round. And as silence has fallen on the show, Milt has round two categories. Milt? Yes, I do, Kevin. In round two, we'll play Eating Indiana. Bears and Pets. Art Smart. And Hoosier Hysteria. Well, it's only a $20 deficit, Ken. You do trail after round one. You played a beautiful first round. It just didn't pay off for you. But all dollar amounts are doubled, and somewhere on the board, $100 celebrity question. So you'll both be racing trying to find that. Clean board, make your selection. Hoosier Hysteria, number four, please. Top corner. Sweat City hosts the boys' final four between 1972 and 1974. Was it A, Bloomington, B, Evansville, or C, Indianapolis? I believe that was Assembly Hall in Bloomington, A. Correct answer. We put the X on the board there, and of course, you pick up $20 now for the square. And Beatrice, let's talk bees. How'd you get into beekeeping? Um, actually, it was a really selfish reason. I wanted the best flowers in the neighborhood, and I thought the best way to do that is to have your own bees to pollinate them and, and get the benefits. Have you changed your mind? No. Actually, it's been a great time. Now, I've heard stories before. Do you have to go to the post office to pick up your bees? Right, and our mailman's not real happy about it. He's had to deliver them, and he hasn't been real happy about that. So someone from the post office calls, uh, Beatrice, your bees are here? Yeah, <laughs> and they come and bring them. So. And so is this a tricky operation? Are you getting honey with this or not? Um, not yet. I've... Um, been it a couple of years. I'm still learning some things, but hopefully this summer. And where do you order from, just out of curiosity? Um, there's a place out in Georgia um, that supplies bees, so you can buy bees or queens or whatever you need. The queen bees. <laughs> All right, Beatrice, your selection. <laughs> I'm going to start with um, eating Indiana number one, please. Bees like food. <laughs> On your way to Cincinnati, you can stop at the Sherman House restaurant in what town? A, Shelbyville, B, Batesville, or C, Metamora? Batesville. It's a good place to stop. Grab some to eat. $130 now. Each have a square in the second round. Ken? Uh, who's your hysteria number eight, please? Second time for you to the category. What team won the first boys' state finals held in Market Square Arena in 1975? Was it A, Fort Wayne Northrop, B, Marion, or C, Rushville? I believe it was B, Marion. That's correct answer. Another $20 there. Two in a row in that category. Beatrice? Eating Indiana, number five. The staying in their own world. <laughs> Celebrity question. Oh. This is worth $100 if you can answer this question correctly. Hi, I'm Bob from the Bob and Tom Show. All right, your question is, in the old TV ads, who was Burger Chef's sidekick? Was it A, Steph, B, Jeff, or C, Gia? B, Jeff. Correct answer. We all remember Jeff, I think, up to $230. Now, big financial jump. Whoever has the most money at the end of this round, Ken, will go on. You're still in the ballgame. So it doesn't look good, does it, Ken? Well, it doesn't look bad. I mean, you're, you're in it. All right. Who's your Hysteria 12, then, please? Which high school was tied with Muncie Central and Anderson for the most boys' final four appearances? Is it A, Gary Roosevelt, B, La Lafayette Jefferson, or C, Marion? C, Marion. Oh, correct answer we're looking for. Lafayette Jefferson, they uh, each have made 17 Final Four appearances. You're still doing awfully well. You know, when you go back into the 70s, since you didn't grow up here, that makes it uh, kind of tough sledding. Beatrice? I'm going to stay with Eating Indiana number 9. It's been a good idea so far. This Morristown eatery has served family style dinners since 1923. Is it A, Mom's House, B, the Iron Skillet, or C, the Copper Kettle? I'm going to go with C, the copper kettle. You went with the right answer. Has a nice ring to it. Up to $270 now for Beatrice. And uh, Ken, it's time for me to share your concern. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you were saying thank I was you. in trouble. Yeah. I'm not going yet. down alone, Kevin. That's good. All right, eating Indiana 13. This is for the block. In the early days of Spencer's North Pole Drive-In, what came to the small Coke? Was it A, a large check? B, a bag of chips, or C, a pretzel on the straw? I'm going to guess C, pretzel on the straw. Okay. Correct answer. That's all important block there. You picked up $20, but more importantly, the square. So a $120 lead for you, Beatrice. I'm going to go with Art Smart's number 11, please. Here's your question. First time to that category. The Hilton New Brown Theater is found on what college campus? A, Tri-State University, B, University of Evansville, or C, Butler University? Butler University. Correct answer there. 
Another $20 up to 290 and 10 You're forced again. Yes, uh, fares and tests? 10 please. This is for the block. Every summer, Fulton County has a festival celebrating what kind of barn? So every summer, Fulton County has a festival uh, celebrating what kind of barn? A, a round one, B, a gambrel roof, or C, a burning barn? This one I do know, thanks to my uh, soon-to-be mother-in-law. Uh, round, A round. A round barn! <laughs> Another block. And uh, this board is getting very, very interesting here. I'm going to go with Ferris and Seth's number six. You're staying away from the block. The Haynes Apperson Festival in Kokomo is a celebration of what? Is it A, the railroad, B, apples, or C, automotive heritage? Automotive heritage. That's the correct answer. Put it all on the board there. $310 to 10170 and, and I'll mention it's the person with the most money at the end of this round that goes on. Is there a, uh, somewhere $150 square on the screen? <laughs> <right there? laughs> you can try and find it. I don't know until it's flipped. All right. Uh, one of two things, I'll go for the block. Who's your stereo 16? Here's your question. How many overtimes did the longest boys tournament game go? Was it A, three overtimes, B, five overtimes, or C, nine overtimes? That would have been B, five overtimes. Not the correct answer, so now you need to earn it. Was it A, three overtimes, or was it C, nine overtimes? C, nine. Wow, what a game. This was a great game. $430 for Beatrice. That's a huge amount of money. Taking her to the bonus round. Ken, well played, both first and second round. Good luck with soccer. We're talking indoor and outdoor, outdoor right. soccer. So best of luck there. Maybe we'll see you at the uh, field. Outdoor soccer is played where? Coon Stadium downtown. All right. Maybe we'll see you there this okay. summer. Thank you so much. Beatrice, you're going for your third trip on American Trans Air. Can we add another $500 savings bond to that? That's the question. We'll be back to play the Union Federal Savings Bank bonus round with Who's Your Know-It-All. Continue. That's wild. We have